with the change to the different weapon motor that's in this, because it's a, it, it's a different layout than what we had before, um, it's going to require that I reconfigure the power systems for this. So we've got we've to make some, some changes. Unfortunately, that's also going to drop voltage to drive, but we're going to have to use a lower voltage because this weapon motor uses a lower voltage. So let's look at the specifics of what we're doing. The previous power arrangement was a 12-cell LiPo arrangement, so around 50 volts. Um, I used four of the 6500 6-cell uh, um, packs in series and in parallel to get the 12-cell arrangement. And that's the maximum that the drive motors can take and the previous weapon motor could take was 12-cell. And that, the power system was great. It worked fine. I had a little more capacity than I actually need, which is always a benefit. Um, but we're going to have to make some changes this time around. So the new system is going to have to be an 8-cell LiPo arrangement because that's the maximum that the weapon motor, the new weapon motor, and the new speed controller for the weapon motor can run. So part of the reconfiguring of the power system on this is going to end up with a new speed controller for the weapon. So it's a different setup than what we had before. Um, which unfortunately meant I had to sort of make all the mounts over again to make everything fit. The shock mounts are a really good idea. You should have those on uh, any electronics in a combat robot. So it's got the shock isolators. Um, the drive speed controllers are here. The new big thick weapon speed controller is here. Um, so we get this all hooked up and set up. This is a uh, censored controller and a censored motor. So we should have a better control over the weapon system when this is all put together. So here you are, fresh off the printer, the new battery box. Um, it's the same general design as the other one, but slightly smaller because the, the batteries themselves are smaller. And look in here, it fits exactly right where it was supposed to, so we're good there. I guess the next thing we got to figure out is whether all the batteries fit. Let's go first. Ooh, look at that. And Perfect. All right. So we're all set. All right, so here's the old battery setup right here. Here's the new one. And I guess the big question now is exactly how much weight did I save? So, old batteries and box, eight pounds, 1.6 ounces. New batteries and box. Six pounds, 3.8. So almost two pounds of savings. All right, so we've got the basics of the batteries and the power system laid out. Uh, I've got to finish up some wiring to get everything all hooked up and get it out and see how it works, make sure everything spins the way I want it to. So we're, uh, we're getting closer. We're going to have a, have a working robot here pretty soon. Um, if you're enjoying any of this, obviously like and subscribe to the channel. Um, we'll have some more stuff as we finish up Mortician and get ready for Robo Games. And Robo Games is coming up, so if you're interested, you come out to watch some of the action. It's going to be a lot of fun.